Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. For today's lesson, you are expected to give the place value and value of a digit of a given decimal number through hundreds as well as to read and write decimal numbers through hundreds. Look at the place value chart of a whole number with decimal number below and try to analyze the place value and value of the digit in the decimal number. Okay, so we have this place value chart. So, ones, tapos decimal point, tenths, and hundreds. So, yung whole number at yung decimal number ay pinaghihiwalay ng decimal point. magi start ang place value ng decimal number dito sa tenths, hundreds, and so on. Then, kung naaalala nyo, yung place value ng whole number ay nag start sa ones, followed by tens, hundreds, and so on. Okay, so let's have an example. Naroon tayong one point twenty-three. Okay, so we're going to identify the place value of the digits dito sa ating mga place value chart. So, yung 1 is in the 1's place and the value is 1. Okay, so naalala nyo yung place value and value of a whole number. So, yung uh, according dito sa ating place value chart, yung 1 is in the 1's place at ang value ng 1 is still 1. Let's proceed on the value and the place value of the digit 2. So, as you can see, 2 is in the tenths place. And the value of the digit 2 is 2 tenths. Kapag isusulat natin ang value ng decimal number, yung 1's place natin na 1 ay magiging 0 na, then copy the decimal point, then copy the digit 2. How about the place value and the value of the digit 3? 3 is in the hundreds place and the value is 0 0.03 or we read this as 3 hundreds. Okay, mamaya ituturo ko kung paano magbasa ng decimal number. Okay, pag magsusulat tayo ng value ng decimal number, focus lang tayo doon sa given digits. So, yung 3 yung ating kinahanapan ng value, kaya itong 1's place ay 0, then copy the decimal point, then yung 10's place is 0 natin, and copy the digit 3 as, or for the hundreds place. Okay, so let's have example number 2 using the place value chart. Let us identify the place value and the value of this given decimal number. So, as you can see, 0 is in the 1's place, pero dahil 0 ang ating digit, that means there is no whole number. Then, 4 is in the 10's place, and the value of 4 is 4 tenths, or it can be written as 0 0.4. So, again, pagkapag kinuha natin ng value ng 4, since wala naman tayong whole number, sulat lang natin 0, copy the decimal point, and the given digit. Then, we read this decimal number as 4 tenths. So, kung ano yung basa natin sa number na to, 4, then banggitin natin yung place value ng digit na, or last digit ng ating decimal number, which is 4. Kaya, ang basa natin dyan is 4 tenths. Okay, so how about example number 3? We have 2.0 and 7. So, isa-isahin muna natin ang mga place value and value of the given digits. So, 2 is in the 1's place, kaya ang value ng 2 is still 2. And 0 is in the 10's place, so, ibig sabihin niyan, ang value ng 0 is 0. 7 is in the hundreds place. Therefore, ang kanyang value is 0 
So, isiniro na natin yung ating whole number na 2. Okay, kung babasahin natin ang decimal number na to, read first the whole number, so 2, and we read the decimal point as end, 2 end, then basahin natin yung basa dito sa number na ito, 7, and basahin natin or banggitin natin yung last digit or yung place value ng last digit ng ating decimal number which is hundreds. Again, so we read this number as 2 and 7 hundreds. So important reminder to read and write decimal number. So to read the decimal number, read the digits after the decimal point. So read the place of the last digit if there are digits starting from 1 and up in whole number part, read the decimal point as end and read the number starting from the highest whole number followed by the decimal numbers. Okay, so let's try to read this example. So read this decimal number. Paano ba natin ito babasahin? So we have 2. Then, basahin natin ang decimal point as end. So, 2 end. Then, read the number as kung paano natin siya binabasa. So, 75. 2 and 75. Then, babanggitin natin yung place value ng last digit. So, ano bang place value nitong 5? So, ay hundreds. Kaya, ang basa natin dyan ay 2 and 75 hundreds. So, that's how we read this decimal number. Okay, so let's try another example. We read how to read this decimal number. We have 0, point, and 0, 0.05. So, take note that no need to read the 0 and the decimal point when there is no whole number. So, sa example na to, wala tayong whole number. So, hindi natin babasahin itong 0 at itong decimal point. Basahin lang natin itong decimal uh, number part, which is 5. Then, babanggitin natin yung last digit or yung, la yung place value ng last digit niya. So, siya ay 100. So, we read this number as 500. So, isa pang dapat nating tandaan na ang 7500 na may 0 sa unahan at itong uh, 7500 na walang 0 sa unahan ay pareho lang ang value. 0 is placed to any empty column between the decimal point and the digits. So, nasa sa inyo yun kung anong gusto nyong way ng pagsulat ng uh, decimal number na walang whole number part. Let's have another activity. Give the place value and value of the underlying digit. So, we have this decimal number, 4500. So, binabasa natin siya as 4500 kasi wala siyang whole number sa unahan or wala siyang whole number part. So, basahin lang natin siya kung paano, siya, kung paano babasahin yung number. Then, don't forget to mention the place value of the last digit of that decimal number. Okay, so let's have the place value of the underlying digit na 5. And also the value. So, ang place value ng 5 is hundreds, while the value of 5 is uh, 0 0.05 or we read this as 5 hundreds. Okay, so another decimal is 3 and 6 hundreds. So, the underlying digit is 0. So, ano yung place value ng 0? So, ang place value niya is tenths, and the value of zero is zero. So, let's give the place value and value of the underlying digit in this decimal number, eight hundreds. So, ang naka-underlying digit is eight, so ang kanyang place value is tenths. And the value of eight is eight tenths. Okay, so let's try this activity. So, write the numbers in the blank. So, bubuo tayo ng decimal number given these conditions. 
8 in the hundreds place, 3 in the tens place. Kung hundreds place ang pinakamataas na place value niya, ibig sabihin 3 digit decimal number siya. So ilalagay natin yung 8 sa hundreds place. Ito yun. Ito yung hundreds place na sa pang third. Then yung 3 in the tens place. So sa tabi siya ng 3. Then so ibig sabihin ah uh, walang whole number. Pag walang whole number ilalagay natin ay 0 and decimal point. So the missing number or the given decimal number based on this condition is 38 hundreds. Okay, another. 9 in the ones place, 0 in the tens place, and 6 in the hundreds place. So again, hundreds place ang uh, pinakamataas na place value niya sa decimal number. So ibig sabihin, 3 decimal, 3 digit decimal number siya. So, yung 9 muna ilagay natin sa 1's place. So, dito siya sa unahan. Katabi niya yung decimal point. Then, 0 in the 10's place. 0. And 6 in the 100's place. So, ang nabuo nating decimal number is 9 and 6 hundreds. Okay, next. Uh, 9 in the 10's place. 7 in the 10's place. 6 in the 1's place. And 3 in the hundreds place. So, ibig sabihin, kung may tens place na, ibig sabihin, 2 digit ang ating whole number. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 4 digit decimal number dito. So, mag, ano tayo ng, uh, mag, uh, gawa tayo ng 4 na blanks. So, ilagay na natin itong 9 sa tens place. Then, 7 in the tens place. Okay. 6 in the ones place. So, 6 dito, katabi niya ang decimal point, and 3 in the hundreds place. Okay, so ang ating nabuong decimal number is 96 and 73 hundreds. Okay, so let's try this activity. Write the following in decimal form. So, meron tayo ditong decimal number in words, 2 and 3 hundreds, oh sorry, Isusulat naman natin siya in decimal form. So, 2 is a whole number. And end yung decimal point. 3 hundreds. Kung 3 hundreds siya, ibig sabihin 2 decimal places siya. So, ilalagay natin yung 3 sa uh, hundreds place. Then, para doon sa tens place, ang ilalagay natin ay 0. Tatandaan na ang 0 ay place value holder. Okay, so another decimal number in words, 65 and 65 hundreds. So, 65 and, ibig sabihin may whole number siya. So, 65, tapos yung end, yung decimal point, then 65 hundreds, hundreds means two decimal places. So, ilagay natin uh, 65. So, we read this decimal number as 65 and 65 hundreds. Next is 19 hundreds. So, 19 hundreds, walang binanggit na end, wala rin binanggit na whole number. Ibig sabihin, wala siyang whole number part. Susulat nyo lang ang 19, then, sulat nyo yung 0 sa unahan, then decimal point para sa pagsulat ng 19 hundreds in decimal form. Thanks for watching this video, hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much!